and good morning people. Welcome back to Star Ocean. Till the end of time. Last time we found out that we can't beat Gabriel Celeste just yet. Well, I say that I probably could if I tried long enough, hard enough or cheesed him out. But I'm not going to do that. I want to beat him straight up with my weapons to his face. So to do that, we're getting some levels, or trying to. So I'm in the Ursa Lava Temple, the Ursa Cave Temple, at the back of the Ursa Lava Caves. And we've got this here. Offer the opposing orb but upon the dais to open the way, but know this. That which is the same as the orb offered shall become an indestructible barrier. This could get interesting. So let's go through, shall we, and see what we're sort of fighting. Nova Blazes. Nova Blaze and a Core Wisp. Uh, I believe the Core Wisp is going to be much more dangerous. 87,000. Wow, you're easy. Um, and how about this cool whistle? 67 Yeah, I think I'm safe. So, yeah. Oh, and uh, the Tri Emblem has normal decision. Increases normal dis attack decision by two. I now actually know what that does. Amazingly, uh, basically adds an extra couple of attacks to your weapon. So when you hit what once, because I've got normal attack decision by two, this increases it by two. I get three attacks. Each sub subsequent subsequent attack is halved. So if I do ten thousand damage on the first hit. Next one, uh, the second hit is 5,000 and the third hit is 2,500. But it's still an increase in power by 75%. I'll take that quite handedly. Anyways, we've got a fire pit there. We've got a water and a wind there. And doesn't have anything to offer on the altar. So I'm guessing we've got to find something so we can open up these chests for ourselves. Because I doubt that I can't even use the uh, the uh, destruction ring in this place. So, yeah. Aquarigias. I really don't think you're going to be any more dangerous than the Nova Blaze. 65,000. Uh, and the Acid Gel? 72,000. So. And 4,000 experience. I don't think I'm going to get a lot of experience in this place. is sort of blocking my path. And we have some mushrooms. The Grand Shrieker and the Botanic Savage. 72,000. So... Yeah. 108,000. Well, that's a bit more impressive, but... Uh, yeah. Can't wait to see again. I maybe should have come to this place first before the Maze of Tribulations. But that's water and I'm guessing the other one was uh, and earth, so here's the fire one. Which shouldn't take too long. Oh, that's coming after me. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm not really too worried about the fights to start off with around here. I don't think I even need to heal for the moment. And here's our wind one. Which is... Some breeze hunters. 90,000 health. Yeah. Vulnerable to earth. Seriously though? Yeah. 5,000 experience. We do have uh, doors that we can go through though. So we're not completely blocked off. I think we'll go through the right one down the bottom here first. And we've got ooh, some nice uh, chests over there, and I'm guessing these are the earth ones. Okay, first things first, fight. Right, there, out of the way. And what have we got? Well, we've got some more fights, which are based, I'm going to guess earth based. And you'll win, monster, so yeah. Oh, we've got something new here. Ancient bats. There's four of them, so. Uh, low health? Yeah, 65,000. Yeah, um. Air raid sort of Can't wait to see you again. sort of made them have a bad day. So yeah, let's. I think I'm just going to go around and kill everything. Really, I shouldn't need to do this because well, I shouldn't really do it at all because the experience is just not worth it. But I do want to gain levels, and well, Peter and Sophia are kind of close. Okay, what's in this stuff? chest? Ah, the Orb of Earth. So, what does this do when we put it onto an altar? I think that's the, be uh, the first question. It did say something about making that which is the same, an impassable barrier. So I'm going to guess if we put this here, we're not going to be able to pass these uh, places still. No. So we're going to take your, I'm going to guess we need to take, uh, put the wind one there so we can get through the Earth section. So let's go find our rough orbs. Let's ignore you and see what's in here. We've got the fire one, so I'm guessing this is the fire area. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to guess this is the fire area, but I'm going to go around and kill everything first just because. Yeah, you don't really need to see these, unless there's something new. Okay, we've killed everything here, and I'm going to go back and get this chest that was sort of lying on its side over here. 41,000 fold. That's pretty nice, actually. Still, sort of in a mon monotone sort of colour scheme, but at least there is sort of some colours. The uh, tre uh, treasure chests are sort of colourful, the elements in the actual pots are there, so it's not completely. Uh, I guess. Aaron, I guess you could call it with the colour scheme. And I need to go over to the other side and get the other two orbs. 
Okay, so what's in this one? Ah, the water. I think now is a good time to test our little theory of opposites. Yep, they've definitely disappeared, so... Yeah, they make sort of... Paths. And sort of shortcuts as well, I believe. So... Yeah, they're going to be extremely important. But I'm going to go around and kill everything again, because... Yeah, these fights are really just insubstantial, but I do want the experience. I think I've just noticed. Um, when the orb is in place, these take no damage. So the fire orb here is basically meaning that these fire enemies here take no damage at all. So what I need to do is actually take it off and uh, go through first. Yeah. Know your enemy before you strike the first blow. Indeed, I will have to test it just to make sure that uh, if I put a, let's say, water orb down and I will have to check to see if the water, water element Water enemies take zero damage as well and have pretty much infinite HP. But here's the orbit water, so I can go test that. Or at least I can test the uh, Earth one in the next room, actually. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so let's go over there and find out, shall we? So, what I need to do is go to the orb, the altar, and use the orb of earth. They've disappeared, and these are the earth enemies. Right, easiest way to check. Grand Shrieker has, yeah, question marks. And I do believe, yeah, I can't do damage. I do believe they do more dam uh, do more uh, damage themselves as well now, so I can't win this, so I'm just going to get out of here. And, uh, sort of take the orb back. Because if I'm going to do this area, I'm going to have to be able to kill things. Like this. Okay, everything's dead, and yeah, if I'm going to be able to actually kill things orb there, uh, I'm going to need to be very careful with the orbs I put down. I'm either going to have to kill things first before I uh, put the orbs down, or if I can't do that, be very careful with the ones I do. But at least I've got four orbs now, and I can actually start opening ways to treasure chests and stuff like that. First things first, I do believe I want to go this way. 
and open up these paths. But first, I need to kill this. That way, I don't need to worry about uh, that once I put the fire orb down to get past this. So, I need fire. We just got rid of that one. And I need the earth one. So, yeah, that's opened up the path, and I can just pick up this chest. The Heaven's Blade. I do believe this is a weapon for uh, Adre. Because, well, I haven't really received much else. Adds fire damage, no uh, fire defense for no damage, which isn't actually too bad. Gives him a bit of intellect if you, if necessary. But uh, I've got this laser weapon that on me, on me, which is doing a lot more than the heaven's blade. So I'm fine for the moment. So let's take that and put in the orb of water. Because now I can go and get this chest, which has water shielding. So I'm going to guess elemental theme is going to be very prevalent in this area. I've got fire defense from the weapon of the weapon. I've got water shielding over there. So one last thing I want to go and get is. The items that were in this room over here. I believe they were in this room. Yes, they are. So let's uh, put the orb of air. I do need to be careful of the harpies that are sort of floating around, but I want. Trading card DX9. Because, yeah, why not? Or some alchemy materials, which I don't need. Who is shown by number 9, though? It's Adre, with his third costume. Man who loves his daughter dearly. Yeah, he has a picture of uh, Claire on his back. Anyways, let's take the orb. Because we're done in here now. And move on to this central area. I'm going to need to clear out all the enemies though. Okay. The first one we're going to need is the earth one down. So that should let me get through the first stage. Next after that is fire. So I need the water. I'm probably going to need all four down because I've got four sort of uh, waters here. Yeah, water and uh, earth. So fire down, and the air, and yeah we've got a bit of a uh, colour scheme going on here, and yeah we're through, that actually wasn't too bad. So what's happening here? Reflecting pool. Our bell. Um, what the heck is going on? And 
not only help out but someone else. Romario. Um, why am I fighting out now? Again. So, and ow. Um. I think I found my, my big challenges here. This ritual demands a sacrifice. Sort of, sort of darkness. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Let's get some health, health going if I can, just in time. Okay, so once I get uh, our bell scanned, I can actually do some damage. I think it's a. Uh, partner needs to go first. Wow, that heap was pretty simple actually. And defeat villain pair. Good. Now let's get going. 33,000 experience so. Really that fight wasn't too bad once you uh, actually got down and fought it. So, that's a battle trophy. Hey! Oh well, that's one down I guess. Not sure why I'm still fighting, uh, why I'm fighting our bell again here though. It's like... Okay. Is this revenge or something? But it seemed odd, didn't he? He had his different skin on. I believe that was his second skin, so... Two-player mode, maybe? Wait a sec, I'm not getting too strong, am I? Enemies haven't changed yet, though, so... This area is still pretty simple. And yeah, that fight's over. Easy. Yeah, this area really hasn't done anything for me. How close am I to level 4? Yeah, not too far off. So I am sort of getting levels, but not really enough to worry. Okay, the uh, screen's flashing, so there are... Um, orbs on... Pedestals. Ah! Um, yeah, I can't take that one off yes, just yet. So I'm going through doors. I guess I need to find all four orbs. At least I know where one is, which is just there. But, uh, hmm. Let's see what's through this way. New enemies! Well, one new enemy that I see. Now, is this enemy fire-based? If it is, I'm going to have to run away and then pick up the... Uh... What? It's quite possible that they're not, though, so... Uh... No, they're not. Really? Actually, I think these are the same enemies as the... What's it called? It's, uh, the Spiral Tower. Savants and the Spear People. I'm really thinking I should have come here first. At the moment. Right, I'm going to need the Earth one to go through there. Okay, that's fair enough. So, back through this way, and through the other door, I think. Yeah, 
more Shadow Sabbaths, Nova Blaze, which I don't want to put the Fire Orb down until I've defeated those. Yep, they're dead. So we've got a bit of a water thing up here, so we need to go head off with the Orb of Fire. So we can get through here. Ah, we have the Earth One upon at the moment. I think it's the Earth One. And hopefully we can uh, deal with this. <laughs> no, this is the Wind One and I need to run. Because I can't do damage to these enemies. Let's go and get the Wind Orb off. I'd need the f water wolf there, okay. Anyways, enemies to kill. Okay, that's them down. And I'm still sort of moving on. I've still only got one orb though. And I've sort of gone round in a circle. Okay. No screen flashing, so... I can still do something here. And I need the wind wall for you. Know your enemy before you... And that will give me a chest. So... Hopefully, let's avoid you, because you're slow enough to get past you. I'll be able to pick them up sometime soon. Okay. Well, that really isn't really going to do me much. What I need is, I believe, the water orb from there. And let's go into here, I think, first. First things first, though, I need to get this orb off. And we can go and sort this out. Take that one. And put down the orb of fire. So I can go this way and. And I'm going to kill everything again in here. Okay. So, did I pick up these? Oh, compounded Lexus. Yeah, I don't need those. And, oh, I missed that door. Okay. I need next to put down the orb of water. So I can pick up this, which is fire shielding. Okay, that's not too bad, that's pretty decent. And I'm going to take the orb again, because that's all I needed it for. Ah, the, there's an orb in here, which I need to take off somewhere. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can get past everything here. There we go. So, take the orb from there. And I need to put the orb of water back in. So I need to go this way, I believe. And get to a fight. Okay, they're dead. Do I need to go that way? I might do. Uh, yeah. No, that, because that doesn't actually move that. I need the Orb of Earth.
Okay. So... Do I have another room that I haven't seen? I guess going through here? Ah, there we go. So, yeah, I'm going to need fire, or, uh, fire, earth and water, but not the air. Can I put the, do I have the or, or water? I do, excellent. And I need the orb of air for there, which I still have, don't I? <laughs> I hope I still have it. Uh, yes, I do. So I can pick up this, which is a burdensome folio. Ah, Infinity Kick. Congratulations, Cliff. You've now got Infinity Kick. Which, uh... I think I'm going to use instead of electric fists. Wait, you you take eight. But you take six. Okay. Wonder why that is. So, 1.360, 1.360, but just with two less CP on Mirage. Okay, that's actually quite odd. Let's put it on instead of uh, Acrobat Locust for a bit and uh, see how he works with it for a bit. It's possible that um, Mirage is a lot better with it, but then again, Cliff does deal with mostly his fists instead of his kick, uh, uh, his feet, doesn't he? While Mirage is better with her, fi uh, with her feet than her fists. Oh well, so through this way we go. So I need to pick up this. How am I going to do this? I've got fire, earth and air. And I need to put air down. Uh, I need to keep to lose the air. Um. Ah, I think I might know. I think I might have gone round the uh, in the wrong direction. So I need to go through here again. To you. Take this orb. Actually, I do need all. F no, I don't need all three. That's all right. I need the. Uh... Hmm. Let's put the earth back down. And put the water down. Uh, 
and I think this is the way to do it. I'm not certain. You're wasting <laughs> Okay, so what I want to do is pick up that one. I think I want to do that. And then put the fire one there. And take that. Um. So that gives me well, I want the water one back, I think now. Sort of just shifting them around until I've got what I want. So I want to put the air one down there. Possibly not. Because I can't get to... I'm a bit stumped right now. It's sort of a shifting puzzle, which isn't really going the way I sort of want it to. So that goes there and there. So I have a way through at the moment, but I need both of those in the next room. What I sort of need is a direct path available up to the third room where I can put in the three things. This room over here is stopped by earth, uh, stopped by wind, so I need the earth one. Or this one over here is stopped by water, so I need the fire one. I think what I need is the fire in the last room and I need water, wind and earth to actually get sort of what I'm wanting but it might take a bit of fig uh, fiddling to uh, get them in place. So, yeah, this might take a bit of work. But we can do that next time. I'm actually going to probably look at it, come back with the actual solution. So, yeah, this could take a while. I'm not certain how to do it. So, until next time, have a wonderful day. Have lots of fun. Goodbye.